This video will show you how to draw an interface for your SCADA node and your Adventist web access system. The interface in web access is totally customizable. If you are on the host computer, you can use the icon and the start menu to start all the different tools of web access. Otherwise, enter the project manager in the web interface. In the scanner note page, you will find the draw tool. Before drawing, we will need to create the text used in your R interface. We will create an analogic value represented by a constant point analogical. Select con ana for the analogical point. You can see that it can be also a binary point or text. Select a name for the tag. and submit the form to create it. You can see that the tag appeared in the SCADA node folder. Go back to the SCADA node page. Enter the drawing tool. This is the drawing interface. It is composed of a top menu, a bottom toolbar which contains the function for the different shapes that can be added to the interface, a common line for the options when you are doing drawing a shape, the top bar, which contains the folder functions, as well as the brush options, all the appearance function and also templates. This interface also contains a right-click menu which have all the different functions. First, we will add a background image. Before adding an image, it should be registered in the image folder of the node. Both BMP and JPEG image are allowed. Select your image to add it to the image folder. Now we can use the function in the bottom toolbar to add the image to the screen. Place the image. It can now be moved and resized. To avoid picking the background image when we will do the next drawing, we will change layers. The image is in the layer 0, the next drawings will be in the layer 1. 
Once we changed layer, we can also render the first layer non-pickable. We will now draw a graphical element, for example, a rectangle. We can add an animation to this rectangle by growing in the dynamic animations. We will choose between all the different types an animation where the rectangle will be filled depending on the value of the tag. Click on the tag to associate it to the animation. We can also use symbols, which are pre-drawn graphical elements for your system. They can be used as any elements you would draw yourself. Place the elements. We will use this symbol to measure the height of our rectangle. We can also add some text. and associate an animation to this text so that it will show the value of the tag. We can also use widgets. Widgets are symbol associated with an animation. You only need to select the tag you want to link to this widget. We will use a slider to control the value of the tag. Place the widget. Now we have a widget to control the value of a tag which will be a simulated output and we will read the value of the sim tag used to simulate an input with the other animation. We can also create macro files. Macro files are more complex functions that can be activated with push buttons this macro file will send us to the Adventech web page. Type in the information, the code and the name. Then save the macro file. Add a push button to the interface. The command we will enter in the push button will call the macro, mic, macro file when the button will be pushed. Place the push button on your interface. Our interface is now ready. We will save it. There are two formats to save the interface. The BGR format will be readed by the node 
and the DRW format will allow us to modify this interface later. Give a name to your graphic. Now our interface is ready. Go back to the scatter node main page. Download the tag onto the scatter node. Then download the graphics onto the scatter node. We can now start the view tool to see the interface. Click on the page to access. The username is to admin and there is no password. The view tool opens on the main page. Use the go to function to access our graphic. Select it from the list. In this page you can see a top toolbar with all the different functions of the tool. We can now control the value of our analogic tag using the slide. We will see if the value is correctly shown by the other animations. We can see that the settings are correct and the value is shown in the text zone and with the height of the rectangle. Press the push button to access Advantex web page. This video is now over. For further information, please refer to the online help or the online service center.